everybody? Hi. Wow, you guys are enthusiastic tonight. <laughs> Come on, this is going to be a great movie tonight. Come on. Yeah. 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 Uh, hi everybody, my name is Sean Cable. Uh, I do a little web show about video games and other geek stuff called Underbelly. And tonight I'm here with uh, the landmark. And uh, also uh, with uh, Super Mario Brothers Archive. And they're the ones putting on uh, this little shindig tonight. So tonight we have something a little special before we get started. He was a uh, stand-in for uh, John Leguizamo. Uh, he was also a dino human. And uh, he's going to talk a bit uh, about uh, the movie. If you'd like to know more about uh, the uh, Super Mario Brothers archive, uh, their website is uh, smbmovie.com. If you want to know more about Underbelly, it's underbellyshow.tv. So, without further ado, Michael. I originally got hired on this movie as an actor. I don't even remember what uh, part I auditioned for. I didn't read very well, I, at least I thought. And uh, I went home and I completely forgot about it. And about six weeks later, I got a phone call, and they said, oh yeah, they want you to be in the movie. They want you to be this, uh, this you know, half human, half dinosaur, like mutant person, and you're gonna wear, you know, crazy makeup, and you work like two days, and I'm gonna pay you a lot of money. And I said, well, yeah, okay, I'll do that. Sure, why not? Bob Hoskins is on this movie, and Dennis Hopper's gonna be on this movie, and Samantha Mathis, yeah, I mean, yeah, I will totally do that. Um, and then the next day, they called me back, and they said, okay, so okay, listen, so we want you to do this other thing. All right, well, what's that? They wanted me to actually be on the movie crew as a production assistant, and be John Lucas almost stand-in, in addition to the thing they'd already hired me to do. And I said, okay, I'll do that, but what does that mean? And, and so they told me what being a production assistant meant. I was on the AD crew, the assistant director crew, so basically I was on the set every day, uh, interacting with basically everyone who works in the movie, from the actors to the producers to craft services to, you know, basically everyone who works in every department. And, uh, and it was a total crash course in making, you know, what they were hoping was going to be like a big budget summer blockbuster movie. I mean, it, like I said before, it was crazy town. It was crazy town. And, um, and then I was like, okay, well, what is the stand-in photo double business? And, you know, so they told me, you're going to stand in for John when we're setting up the, each individual shot. So, that, you know, sometimes it takes a little while, it takes a couple hours. We don't need them standing under the lights or getting bored. They can go sit near their trailer and you can stand under the hot lights. Okay, sure, I'll do that, no problem. I got the photo double for him. So uh, you'll see at various points in the movie um, when his character, you know, when they do a close-up of like his character's hand turning a doorknob, that's me. <laughs> or, you know, they have a long shot of the Mario Brothers in the van, that, that's actually me. Uh, I know, fancy, right? Yeah. I even photo doubled for Dennis Hopper one day. I photo doubled his foot kicking the pet dinosaur, which you will see later on. It was a very traumatic day. Um, but yeah, it was this amazing, crazy crash course in uh, making a movie. We were in North Carolina in an abandoned cement factory in this suburb of Wilmington, North Carolina called Castle Hayne. And it was a huge, huge cement factory. The production completely took it over. They had the production offices there. They built pretty much all the interior sets in there, the Dino Hatton sets, and the Mario Brothers apartment was there. We had a lot of room. We had, we had room to for everything. But the problem with the cement factory was it wasn't air conditioned, and we shot in the middle of the summer, from like May to August. So, you know, we all lost a lot of weight on this show, because uh, it was about 100 degrees average every day at work. And most days at work, you know, this was in the days before they CGI'd extras. So we actually had extras there. So we had like a few hundred people on set average every day. So it was very, uh, it was very intense sometimes. But I got to spend this amazing summer working with people who had worked on movies uh, I had uh, grown up loving. I got to spend all summer hanging out with Bob Hoskins and Dennis Hopper and John and Samantha Mathis and all the behind the scenes people. You know, like our cinematographer, Dean Semler, who had just won an Oscar for Dances with Wolves, right? And here he was on the Mario Brothers. Movie. And uh, David Snyder, the production designer, who had, uh, you know, done the production design for Blade Runner. 
and here he was in the Mario movie. <laughs> and, uh, you know, our camera operator, Doug Ryan, who had worked on The Untouchables and Apocalypse Now. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, and the guy who operated the boom mic, Earl Sampson, he worked on all the Robert Zemeckis movies. And uh, our key crypt, this guy named Chunky. I'm not even kidding. Chunky, he was a very Keith Richards type character. Um, but he had worked on um, Return of the Jedi. And yeah, the Holy Grail. He worked on a Star Wars movie. The guy could do whatever. Oh, the sound went out. The guy could do whatever he wanted. Um, and so I got to hang out with all these people every day, talk to them, work with them, uh, find out what it was like to work with them, and find out what it was like to work on these other movies uh, that they had all done, and find out just you know what it meant to live this crazy life where we work six days a week and we work 12 to 18 hours a day, and don't want to do a damn thing on our day off. But, you know, in the end, it all comes together in, you know, what you're about to see. So, and sometimes it's a hit and sometimes it's a miss, but, you know, there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears involved, and uh, believe me, there was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears uh, involved in putting this one together. But uh, it was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I would not have traded it for, uh, for anything. And... Uh, and, on top of it all, I got to wear very cool makeup uh, that uh, took three hours to put on and an hour to take off. And it was actually very comfortable, and I could eat in it. So, you know, that's, I pretty much had all the basics covered right there. Um, so, yeah, enough of me. You guys came here to see the movie.